half-lights in the air is increased. This creates the favorable conditions for treatment of respiratory problems. On the left, there is the athletic stadium built between 1919 and 1925. Mineral springs were first mentioned in Bad Kreuznach in 1608. They were a princely source of income. Napoleon I gave them to his sister as a present. As a result of the Congress of Vienna, they fell under the control of Hessen. In 1897, they were purchased by Bad Kreuznach for 1.1 million marks. In this sober concrete building, there is a 500 meter deep well providing healing waters. Yeah. Serves to increase the concentration of minerals in the water. To start with, the concentration is just 1.5%. But after dripping down over the blackthorn hedges, the evaporation increases the mineral content to 10 to 15%. Then the brine comes into an evaporator unit which separates the salt minerals from the brine. Behind these thorn houses, we can see the town swimming pool. Now we are going over the cycle path which goes along the river Naha. It is 120 kilometers long. The Naha arises in Zelbach in the Saarland and it has already put 100 kilometers behind it when it reaches Bad Kreuznach. 20 kilometers further on it flows into the Rhine. But Kreuznach has around 44,000 inhabitants. There are spa treatment baths, schools, shopping malls, craft industries, small and medium-sized industrial areas. And now, a word about our little train, Blue Klaus. It's 25 meters long, 2 meters 10 wide, and 2 meters 50 high. It's pulled by a Toyota all-terrain vehicle with a 4.2 liter engine it has six cylinders and 65 uh, PS. The special feature of the wagons is that the second axle is steerable. We can carry 60 people and the value of our train is about 140,000 euros. The Kauer family famous sculptors lived in the yellow house which is now in front of us. There is also the artist studio there and visits can be arranged on Thursdays. On the right there is the new building of the county administration. This building is a few years old but the arms of the towns Bad Kreuznach, Bad Sobenheim, Stromberg and Kien are from the old building. We are now coming to Salinas Square and crossing the pedestrian area named Mannheimer Straße. On the right, we can see the Europa Square, the main railway station, and the 100-year-old Catholic Church of the Holy Cross.
This is the Bourgerplatz, named after the French twin town Bourg-en-Bresse. On the right is the dialysis center, and behind that, the St. Marienwerth Hospital. Now we are leaving the old town and crossing the Nahe over the Wilhelms Bridge, and we are coming into the new town. On the right is the historical residence of Dr. Faustus. He taught at the local school, and he had to quit the town at night secretly. On the left is the town hall. Started in 1715, it was intended for a prince of Baden. It has been the seat of the town council since 1819. On the right, there is the casino building. Today, it is the place where civil marriages in Beit Kreuznach are conducted. And it is also the seat of the local council. Now, we are going past the wood market. In the past, goods were sold in places named after the products which were sold there. For example, the corn market, the egg market, the salt market and the fish market. On the left, we can glance at the Schloss Park with a fine botanical selection. People can arrange to be married here for a fee. We are going over the Ellebach by way of the Ziegelbrücke and we're coming into Höfelsheimer Straße, which is a road the Romans used to use and it leads to Ida Oberstein. On the left is a feudal building called Bangert, which was built around 1250. On the left, there is a puppet museum, which the state gave to Bad Kreuznach. The town had to finance the renovation costs and the running costs, and of course you can visit the museum. Also on the left, there is the Roman Hall. Originally, it was a barn. Here is the mosaic showing Ozeanus and the gladiators, and the mosaic dates back to 250 AD. The mosaic was found in the ruins of an old Roman villa. We are now driving across the area where this villa once stood. The foundations have been laid bare to reveal the real size of the villa, and it is thought to be the largest villa yet found in Germany. On the right, you can see the Roman Hall again with its famous mosaic. It is said to be the finest north of the Alps. This is the Mannheimer Street, the longest street in Bad Kreuznach. The first house on the left was the first post office in Bad Kreuznach. The house on the corner on the right dates back to 1300. It belonged to the Jew Schgottschalk, who was allowed to build a mansion because he lent 355 marks to the Duke of Sponheim. We are now coming to the salt market. On the left, we get a glance along the narrowest lane the Shah, which goes to the egg market 